hello friends welcome to my channel in this video we are going to talk about uh, the race pedal the first one okay and uh, this is also called uh, accelerator pedal and also it is called uh, throttle input okay so we'll understand how this functions and also we'll see how we are going to handle this one okay before we move on please do like this video to promote this video and also subscribe my channel for more videos okay and remember this is going to be a complete series of car driving tutorial so do subscribe and stay tuned okay let's start with this one see so now i'm inside the car let me start the engine okay so the engine is running see this is the first pedal okay now how this function is see the functioning is very simple so as you press this pedal what you are doing is you are doing only one thing that you are increasing the fuel injection inside the engine okay so when you press it you are injecting more fuel in the engine and accordingly more fuel is burned and more more energy is produced okay accordingly your car moves faster so we know this simple concept okay this is common for two wheeler or four wheeler you press it and the car moves faster why it moves faster because you are injecting more fuel and accordingly more burning is happening more power is getting produced and the car moves faster okay so that's about the function that's very simple and that's what is required you know for car driving uh, to understand okay now see the important thing is how we are going to handle this one okay see uh, this is handled by the right foot okay and uh, because it's anyhow on the right side so obviously it can be handled by the right right foot now this right foot has two responsibilities one thing is it has to handle the uh, brake also and the uh, accelerator pedal also so it has to switch between these two okay and uh, this makes absolutely sense okay perfect sense why because see at a time either you would uh, race it or you would break it either you want to move further or you want to stop these two don't go hand in hand okay so right foot can comfortably switch between these two okay and it is good actually it is safer approach also so either you would break or race okay so that's how so you have dual responsibility on the right foot okay and uh, <clears throat> now one more important thing is see initially when you are learning to drive so you have to drive with the bare foot you don't have to use slipper or any shoes okay why because you need to feel this okay see this is the most dangerous part of the car the accelerator okay so these days the car are very you know powerful and uh, if you press it hard sudden sudden pressing then what happens is your car will simply bounce okay because of the you know immense power so you need to feel it and understand this how much you have to press okay you have to understand how much you have to press practice it keep the car in the neutral for example right now it is in neutral and i am pressing okay so have a good feel of it how engine is you know revving when you are pressing it and how much you should press okay and obviously you do, once you start practice, practicing and once you start driving you will you know have more understanding but initially for about uh, a few weeks or few months you have to drive with the bare foot so that you can feel it properly if you are having a bigger shoe or especially the sport shoes and you want feel how much you have to press okay and you would you would end up doing mistakes okay so that is one thing uh, there is another thing okay now uh, one more thing is see uh, there is a concept of uh, minimum rpm in the cars okay and that's common for even two wheelers okay so what is minimum rpm is see the engine right now the gear is in neutral so car is not moving okay engine and the car is disconnected but still the engine is running see you can hear the noise okay when i am pressing the accelerator i am injecting more fuel and the noise is increasing okay so the car keeps running on the minimum rpm okay the small amount of fuel continuously injected inside the car inside the engine so that the bur fuel burning keeps happening and the engine keeps running if the fuel injection stops then the car would stop okay and we don't want it we don't want you know unwantedly our car to stop when we turn off the key then our car should stop otherwise it should never stop so there is a concept of minimum rpm and uh, car keeps running and the certain amount of fuel continuously injected now how this information is relevant to you as a beginner see uh, what happens is if you engage the gear and if you don't press the clutch and the brake your car will start moving okay so you have to remember your engine is running and it has a lot of power is just that because it is in the neutral engine is running alone it's not connected to the car but as soon as you engage the gear your car will move okay so you have to be very careful and uh, what you need to do is initially when you engage the gear your brake should be pressed okay and also the clutch should be pressed those things we will see in the uh, practical session and how you can you know this is actually an important feature so your car has automatically some amount of power without even pressing this pedal okay 
So how you can utilize this? See, initially you don't have to even press the accelerator to understand or to start with the driving. You don't have to press it. Just engage the gear and understand these two pedal. Okay, that's it. Your car will move. Okay, those things we will see in the practical how you can utilize the minimum RPM to you know practice the steering without even accelerator. So we will cover that and uh, that's it for this video guys if you like this content please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos if you have any question about the accelerator put it in the comment i'll try to answer thank you very much